have one question. Um, for me as an instructor, you know, we've been together for a while, but you've seen the group from last year to this year. Yeah. In order for us to, I'm not saying impress you because we're not going to really impress you, but how can we take it to the next level for the next time that you are here? There's a lot of things, and it depends how about what you're talking about. So as uh, students and as a class, we have respectful and discipline, but that does impress you. There's no question about that. We're very organized. We have a structure. This is really good. You know, everybody needs a structure. Um, so on that level, you've already impressed me a lot. I mean, you know, could there be improvements? You can always be improvements. You know, that's, that's, but I would say you're a pretty impressive group. I enjoy working with you. Um, on another level, you know, you have people who are competing for competition. Um, so on a competition level, um, what's, what's, what's really hard is it's nothing that you can do for them. It's what they have to do for themselves. So Mike Tyson hated getting up in the morning and running, but he got up at 4 o'clock in the morning and ran. Muhammad Ali too. A lot of people hate conditioning, but they understand that it's directly tied to their confidence going into a fight. You can get to a fight and you're questioning that, then you have just one more thing on your mind. So, anything has to be done on your own. Chris can do some things. We didn't do any exercises at night, normally I do, but I kind of ran out of time. And, uh, Fighting is very counterintuitive. 
it's doing a lot of things that don't sound right. Maybe punch comment is right. Wait a minute, punch comment? Ah, I'm going the other way. But, you know, sometimes it's the best thing to actually look toward. And it's really, it's really counterintuitive. Fighting is very counterintuitive. So, you know, so is that. Taking yourself constantly out of your comfort zone. It's very counterintuitive. Let me just, let me just give you a, an idea of why I think this is important and why this is, you know, impressive for people to do it. Because uh, everybody thinks that they're going to get to a certain level and then it's all down the hill from there to get close. Does that ever happen for any of you in any of your jobs? So the higher you get, what happens? The more expectations. The higher you get, the more sacrifice. There, there is no point where you're going to get to cruise. It doesn't happen in life. It certainly can happen in here. So much of what we do in Muay Thai is very parallel to that. So we can get you guys out of your comfort zone here. You'll be able to get out of your comfort zone in life. You'll be able to push yourself a little bit more outside and realize that there is no point in time. I run a school. Chris said I had 400. I have 570 students. I only teach Muay Thai. Um, and, you know, this is a very good school, and I should be able to just cruise now, right? <laughs> the more people there are, the more work I have to do. You know, when it's a smaller school, you can get a really good one-on-one -on -one service. So if it gets to that big of a school, you have to find ways all the time to better your service to make sure that people are still getting that person in a huge place. So, you know, if, if everybody thinks like, well, if I had 500 students, I would be, I would be going all over and cruising and saying, it doesn't work that way. You know, the more you have, the more you have to keep. So, you know, does that, does that make sense? Yep. So that's why that's important, because it's not just about, it's not just about increasing your speed and going high or anything else. It's about really expanding your comfort zone outside of that.